Joe, the last game on Danish turf this uh, yeah. <laughs> this year. Um, how important was it for you to get a victory today? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I think more importantly was working on some of the things that we've been trying to implement over the past few weeks, uh, which I think we definitely did in the first half, but more difficult in the second. But yeah, I think it's uh, I think the most important thing is yeah developing that style of play a little bit. Uh, and the result comes second, but of course it's really good to get a victory. I think we we slip right good for first half. Actually, in the first half, the whole team, 35 minutes, for we play really good football. På underlaget herover, som som vi jo alle sammen kender, som er er virkelig hurtigt, men vi får har god bold og god teknisk kunde i første halvleg, så så mister vi det lidt, synes jeg i i slutningen af af første halvleg, vi tog til at lave et par udskiftninger, og det skaber måske lidt lidt problemer i i strukturen i slutningen af første halvleg, så synes jeg vi må sige at Silkeborg stepper op i anden halvleg, vi får lidt større problemer, de vender og drejer på os ind i midten, og vi vi får ikke sat vores pres godt nok, fordi vi vi mangler lige at finde den rigtige højde, enten så bliver vi lidt for høje, eller så bliver vi lidt for for defensiv og står lidt for lavt, så der der kæmper vi med det, synes jeg, men når det så er sagt, så synes jeg vi spiller en en udmærket kamp, og det er dejligt at se mange af, af de unge også byder sig til og vi ender med at vinde, og det er trods alt det vigtigste, og det det gør mig glad. Yeah, I think we've been a little bit more focused on trying to play through the center slightly more. Um, and that's not to say we don't go wide now, but I think we're trying to build the game a little bit through the middle and, and forcing the opponents to be a little bit more compact. Uh, and then when they do that, then we start playing wide. And I think, you know, we're starting to have some success with it. And I think we had that in Millwall as well. Um, but obviously it's a long journey to go, but we want to make the most of this off season, you can say it, uh, before the Super League gets back on the way. Jamen det som jeg har bedt dem om, det er jo at kan man sige, være dygtige på bolden i forhold til at ture spille, også ind i, også ind i organisationen på, på, på Silkeborg. Altså, vi ved jo alle sammen, at de ligger med deres øh, juletræ, og det vil sige, at de har, har mange spillere centralt, men det gør ikke, at vi ikke stadig skal skulle spille derind, fordi hvis vi altid bare kører den bredt, jamen, så er det nemt for dem at skubbe fra, fra midten og ud og lægge et pres og forholde os i en side. Og der synes jeg, at man ligesom får vinklet den ind i midten en gang imellem, så får du skabt nogle andre vinkler, og det vil sige, at du kan spille i begge sider. Og det synes jeg, vi gør godt i første halvleg og får krævet nogle muligheder ud af det. Omvendt må vi så også sige, at vi, vi, vi taber for mange bolde i anden halvleg, vores, vores tekniske kunde falder. Øh, vi, vi får en masse omstillinger imod os, fordi vi netop, du ved, bliver fanget lidt på mellemhånden. Og det, det var lidt ærgerligt, men øh, ja, sådan er det engang. Men I kommer også med et, med et meget højt aggressivt pres i første halvleg. Du hører derude, du står og råbte, op med her, op med hele tiden. Altså, er du tilfreds med også den del af spillet i dag? Ja, igen, når vi, når vi hænger sammen som hold og har energien til det, som vi, som vi har i langt hen af første halvleg, så synes jeg, vi løser det rigtig godt, og vi råber mange bolde på, på gode områder. Det er lidt som om, jo, jo, jo mere træt vi bliver, jo, mere, jo flere huller kommer der også til, til Silkeborg, og det udnytter de flot. Det er et dygtigt hold her på den her bane, så, så kunne du til dem også. Men det er klart, jo, jo mere træt vi bliver, jo mere kan man sige, savner jeg også lidt styring ind på banen, hvor vi ligesom siger, okay, hvis vi træder her, hvis der er lidt mellemrum i mellem, så lad os trække os lidt, lad os trække os 5-10 meter. Og der skal vi stadig arbejde på, at der også er nogen inde på banen, der lige tager den ekstra styring, så det ikke er mig, der skal stå og, og sige det hele tiden. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit different. I think we're kind of playing a quite a unique formation at the moment with this kind of four, yeah, two, two, two kind of, with box in the midfield. But I think it really suits the players that we have. Uh, and I think we especially saw that with uh, up in Millwall as well, Nikolaj Vallis, obviously he does really well in that kind of position. Um, but it's a little bit different. Obviously, it's a it's a learning curve for all of us getting used to the system as well. Um, but of course, it's something that we actually played a little bit over the past year. So I think it's it's not too hard to pick up on for a lot of players. How is it for you to play with the with two sixes? Yeah, uh, you know, despite being uh, on your yeah, own. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. I think uh, as a six, you you obviously have to be used to, to playing with both. Uh, I don't think there's one that's better than the other, and I think this is the system right now. So. You know, I think, as I said, it's learning the players around you and building a connection between whoever plays the other six as well and, and trying to play there. And yeah, I think it uh, it gives us a lot of stability in the midfield, uh, especially when you have two people that are, you know, strong on the ball that allows the players around them to feel comfortable playing it into them. And yeah, I think we can build the game from there. Yeah, <coughs> and uh, you had a, a difficult uh, fall season, mm. uh, the, the team, but also you personally. Yeah. How, how can you use this as a, a fresh start, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it definitely was difficult. Didn't play uh, so much, barely anything, um, which was difficult. It hasn't happened so many times in my career, so it was something new for me to adjust to and learn from. But of course, I think that's going to happen to anyone through their career, and you got to react to it in, in the correct way and and learn from it, which is the most important. So, yeah, for sure, it's a it's a little bit of a, a start for me or a chance to to show myself again under new eyes. Uh, but I don't think the mentality has changed throughout the whole period. Obviously, I try, you know, do my job and perform the best for the team, whether it be in games or in training. So, 
you know, I think most important is, is doing your part for the team and that's always been the case. There was a rumor earlier this fall that uh, you could maybe go back on loan to, to Viking. Uh, do, do you see yourself staying in Brandby in the, in the in the spring? Yeah, yeah, I don't, uh, personally I don't read the papers too much. I did hear about that one, but yeah, of course it's, it's only rumors. Uh, I'm fully focused at being here at Bromby and of course with the situation now I think the the future is really bright for myself and the team and you know fully invested and uh, you know I think the way that we've been playing the past few weeks has really suited me personally uh, so it's a lot of excitement and motivation to to keep working hard and doing my best so we can uh, progress as a team but also as myself. Det gør jeg og prøver at vinde de fodboldkamp, jeg, jeg deltager i, og, og prøve at justere lidt på, på, på spillestilen i forhold til, hvad jeg synes er det rigtige at gøre. Det, det må vi så se, hvad, hvad, hvad klubben, hvilken retning de i virkeligheden vælger at gå, og det glæder mig til at være med til. Så for mig er det vigtigt, at jeg repræsenterer klubben lojalt, og som jeg altid har gjort, og, og stiller op og giver alt, hvad jeg har i den periode, jeg er. Tak for det, Martin. Velbekomme.